Hello, my name is Mr. Dog, and today we're going to look at the Arceus V Star Crobat VMAX deck in Expanded. So, the goal of this deck is to go second, so we can use a supporter. We're going to be using Wally, which lets us evolve a non Pokemon EX on the first turn. This will allow us to attack with Trinity Nova on the first turn for 200 damage if we get a triple acceleration energy. We can even do 230 damage if we have a choice belt, that just knock out most relevant Pokemon Vs. And even gives us access to Starbirth on the first turn, which lets us grab any two cards we need. Also playing a 2-2 Crobat VMAX, because Crobat VMAX hits for weakness against Shadow Rider VMAX, which is currently one of the best decks in the format. Playing Pseudo Wudo, limits our opponent's bench to 4. Really good counter to Skyfield decks like Turbo Dark and Palkia V-Star. And if we do happen to go first, we can just send Dancy into the active, which makes all of our basic Pokemon immune to gusting. We're playing Drafferig for its Get Lost attack. Let's just put two cards from our opponent's discard pile into the Lost Zone. So really good for Lost Zoning the Lusamine loop in the store matchup, so they can't recycle supporter cards infinitely. Also really good in Dialga Donk, you can just Lost Zone their energies, so they don't have enough energy to use their Tina Chomp to get rid of all of our Pokemon. Also really good against the new Reggie Drago V-Star deck, because we can just Lost Zone their attackers. Okay, so I'm going to keep the introduction short and sweet. Let's go on some gameplay. Okay, so we're going first, unfortunately, so we can't Wally this turn. Um, we are playing against Shadow Rider, so we could hopefully be able to defeat them with our Crobat VMAX. Um, we're playing Arceus as well, which is interesting. So I need to think about what we want to discard. Uh, we'll get rid of probably the versus Seeker. Uh, maybe we want to get a Crobat down so we can establish a Crobat VMAX ASAP. Um, we'll attach an energy and so uh, crowbat for four that sounds good to me um, I am kind of worried about them playing silent lab as well so it's good to use our abilities whilst we can um, okay this seems like a fine hand for next turn I will pass over to our opponent School girl, that's not a deck you that's not a card you see very much in expanded. Okay, so might want to knock out this this uh, Arceus V if we can. It just depends on what we have prized. So Starbirth. Guzma is in the deck, and so is double colour. So I think uh, we'll Guzma on to we'll Guzma on to the Arceus V so they don't have the option to Starbirth. I also don't have the opportunity to use 22 over to put energies onto their Calyrexes as well, which is really good. And uh, we'll start powering up our Crobat, I think. Go on to get the VMAX now in case they have something like a Gengar or Mimikyu. That doesn't sound terrible. Because we've got the Versus Seeker in hand anyway. So... We can just, if they get the VMAX and they send it into the active, we can just threaten to take a free prize card knockout, which is really, really strong. And we could even just Guzma next turn because we're the Versus Seeker as well. Escape Rope. And that could be pretty good. Okay, so that's a Shadow Rider. Got no energies in play though, so not going to be doing very much damage whatsoever. Wobbuffet. It's the wrong Wobbuffet though. Not the Wobbuffet that shuts off your ability, it's the one, the single strike one. Okay, there we go. Uh, we pretty much had the win anyway, so GG's. Okay, so we're going second, so that means we will be able to Wally into a V-Star. So we'll bench this and use Wally. Uh, then we'll star birth for triple acceleration energy. Maybe uh choice belt so we can maybe get a Guzma next turn and, and like chain knockouts and our two prizes. That might be good. And what I also could get is a pseudo wudo, because I know Lugia struggles a lot with bench space. So I think we'll get rid of the dark darkness energy. That seems fine.
Hopefully this uh, Arceus won't get knocked out. We'll get two on here and one on the bench. So far, I don't think they've got any Archaeopses in the discard pile. Um, so hopefully they won't get set up next turn. Okay, so they are going to get the Archaeops in the discard pile now. Okay, but they don't do much else, which is really good. So I think I just want to thin down my hand a bit so I can use Crobat. Need to find an energy and a switching option. Uh, we'll take the quick ball, that'll help us thin down our hand. Shuffle an energy back into our deck. I will attach this to here. I think I think we'll grab another V-Star. So hopefully we just want to goose them onto this Lugia V. Because they don't even have another Lugia set up. Okay, there's the energy, so we can just get a Guzma of the Tapu. But we, we attached the choice part to the wrong Pokemon, um, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I, sh I probably should have waited to attach the uh, choice belt, but I think I will still go with Guzma. And I think the other choice part is still in the deck, so we could still, could still be fine. Okay, we got really lucky there. Okay, GG's. Okay, so going second. So you will be able to Wally this turn. Let's train his mail. Nothing. Well, okay. Um, so this is going to be a little bit rough with what we have to discard, but that's fine. Um, get rid of this. Grab an Arceus. And uh, I think we'll keep the Versus Seeker around so we can use Professor's Research next turn. That sounds pretty good. Go to this and this. And get a Wally. Get the V-Star. I think we'll just go for the uh, the triple acceleration energy and the float stone. That seems fine. Float triple. Hopefully they don't have a way to knock out this uh, Arceus V-Star. And uh, we'll just get three energies onto the, this V-Star. That sounds good to me. Not really sure what we're playing against at the minute. Um, it could be that that they have the magic hops and they do more damage for the more damage counters they have on them, or something like that. I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay. It's it's something a bit different. That's fine. So I can do two hundred and ten damage, which is not enough to knock out my uh, Arceus V style, which is good. Okay, let's see how many get. They get five, which isn't bad. So we'll just go for research and hopefully we can find another Arceus V. Okay, nice. I thought we got a whiff for a second. So we'll just get rid of the uh, fire. I don't see that being useful in this matchup. Arceus. And we can attach the double colorless so we can conserve energies, the basic energies. Then we'll just trench it over and get one energy onto the Arceus V. So 
So they did grab the Nassan last turn. So we'll be able to grab um, an Arc a Magikarp and a Gyarados and some Energies. I'm guessing a lot of their deck is energy, so it's not going to be very consistent. I think the something I do have to be concerned about is I'm gusting onto my uh, lower HP Pokemon on the bench, so they are able to get the knockout. And they actually discard um, their non-energies as well, which is really bad for them. They've already discarded three greens and three nasses. Uh, I think at this point we'll shuffle some energies back into the deck and some of our Pokemon, just so we don't run out of resources. And uh, we we probably should just uh, get a Crobat here, but it's onto here. Could maybe retreat to deny a knockout at some point. I think it's just better to power up the Arceus V because it has more health than the Crobat V. So just put all the energies onto here. Choice Belt isn't going to be useful in this matchup. Another five. I actually discarded their last Queens and Nessa as well, so that's all four of both support from the discard pile. There we go, it's going to concede. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up the video. So this is currently one of my favourite decks in Expanded. Being able to get a knockout on your opponent on the first turn out of nowhere just makes it really powerful. And being able to grab any two cards of Starbuff is also really cool as well. But let me know what you guys think of this deck down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!